be free getting our alcohol at the airport. We are literally taking a nap, waiting to go into the blue lagoon. We've hardly slept. <laughs> and we're here. Let's see the steam rising up. We spent our second day exploring the town of Reykjavik before driving two hours to our hotel in the southern coastal town of Vik. How could we not go into a Big Lebowski <laughs> bar? And of course, get a white Russian. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, white Russian. It's like a frickin' milkshake. <laughs> Just in the sauna, in the hot tub, and it's snowing. Day three, we were introduced to such varying landscapes on our way to Glacier Lagoon. Waterfalls, snow-covered mountains, moss-covered alien landscapes. The drive is incredibly beautiful. Diamond Beach, which is no, oh, this is a, a little glacier more lagoon. Glacier Lagoon, I guess. But it is pretty badass as you're gonna get to see. It. Just on the other side of the road is Diamond we Beach. We're on a Diamond Beach. Oh, how close that is to me. <laughs> the icebergs from Glacier Lagoon funnel out to the ocean, then wash back on shore of the contrasting black sand, giving the look of diamonds scattered across the beach. Day four took us west of Vik in search of waterfalls. Our first stop was the less touristy east side of the Black Sand Beach, closer to the town of Vik. The lady we met on the beach 
offered to share some of her Herkimer diamonds with us. She was tossing them into the waves in order to heal the ocean and shared her experience with us. Are we ready? Yeah. Do it. Stairs next to Skogafoss take you to the top of the falls and a trail leading to several more waterfalls. Less than half an hour away is the waterfall Cellulens Falls. After chasing waterfalls, we had dinner at Ingolfskalli. Set inside a traditional Viking longhouse, we were served some of the best food we had on our trip to Iceland. On our way back to the hotel in Vik, we spotted lights on Seljalandsfoss, the waterfall we saw earlier that day. So we'll see how this turns out. I am at this waterfall in the middle of the night. It's already spring, but it's lit up by the lights. After three nights staying in Vik, we made our way west to stay the next two nights at the Panoramic Glass Lodge. We're just driving along. Don't do it then. I see a rainbow. <laughs> Oh my god, Todd can't even get out of the car. <laughs> oh my god, watch this. Oh my god. Windy out here. While driving, we spotted these beautiful Icelandic horses off the side of the road and had to stop. Oh, they're all coming. <laughs> to the little tomato greenhouse restaurant that I can't pronounce. We hit an intense rainy windstorm on our way to our glass lodge. Unfortunately, we weren't able to film very much due to the crazy wind. All right, we just got checked into our place and almost got knocked over carrying our shit <laughs> because of these winds. So we pulled up the weather app. There's Iceland. Hurricane tracker. <laughs> I know we're not right in the middle of a hurricane, but... Okay, yep, we're getting the winds of the hurricane. Yay! Waking up in our panoramic glass lodge on our 13th year anniversary was pretty special. Although cold and windy outside, the cabin was warm and cozy. The sun keeps coming and going, it's been <laughs> raining. And we got a little bit of sun, Todd's out filming. And we have another rainbow.
decided to leave our toasty cabin to go check out a waterfall that was just 20 minutes away. So this is our road to the, oh my god, it just gets worse, <laughs> to the waterfall. You can't exactly turn around, so it's like you have to commit. Yeah, we got it though. It's a good high clearance vehicle. Here's where the SUV came in handy. We came out to come uh, see a different waterfall that's close to, to the town of Hella, where we're staying in the Panorama Glass Lodge. Uh, we didn't want to do a two hour drive to the Golfoss or the Geyser. So this was just like 25 minutes from Panorama Glass Lodge, like two minutes outside the town of Hella. Getting ready to make pasta on our last night for our anniversary. And we picked this up at the tomato farm restaurant we went to. So we're gonna give this a go tonight. Here's our dinner we just made. A little pasta. Cheers! <laughs> Look at that man. Thanks for cooking, baby. You're welcome. Happy anniversary, baby. Happy anniversary. Oh, we're just sitting here finishing our Icelandic pasta dinner. <laughs> and now it's starting to snow again. It is, it is snowed off and on. It is sleeted. It is hailed. It's rained. <laughs> it's been sunny. But it's so pretty seeing the snow come down. We were sad to be checking out of our glass lodge but we were very excited to be doing something today that you can only experience in Iceland. to another waterfall in Thingvellir National Park. What did we just get done doing? Trek? Snorkeling in between the North Atlantic Plate and the Eurasia. Hell yeah. It was awesome. Just a one hour drive back to our hotel in Keppelvik in the middle of a snowstorm. Hotel Berg in Keppelvik was so cute. 
we managed to get a reservation for one of the three tables for dining and enjoyed a rooftop hot tub later that evening. Before we had to head back to the airport, we grabbed delicious lunch of fresh caught fish and lobster soup at Hotel Keflavik. <laughs> he does it. Oh, you're pretty close. <laughs> Your beard is weird. Oh, that's me. The green shirt, right there. That one. Hi. No. <laughs> That's what you do. <laughs> there we are. Oh. Go get the water. Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs>